University of Maine Cooperative Extension helps farmers and food producers bring you the local foods you love. These are the stories of the families who are growing Maine. decided together that staying home and raising our kids was what we thought was most important and it just seemed easy to have the farm also we just kind of developed from there um, introducing 4-H to both of my kids years ago um, we started with um, a 4-H group called the Bradford Buckskins and that just kind of got things rolling and then I was asked to become a leader family having the four of us makes a big difference we have really good attributes feeding off from each other. Colby, he doesn't care what he has to go through. If it's mud or muck, he's, he's good with just about anything. Sierra's strength, she has, she has some patience when it comes to needing to do the paperwork. She knows that that part is super important. Then I decided to tell my dad one day that we weren't a farm until we had cows. So we got a couple cows, so it's been an ongoing thing for a long time. Typically during the school year I'll get up around six o'clock and go out and feed the cows and make sure they're fine and come back in get ready for school, go to school and come home and feed them again and check on them and do whatever needs to be done that night. Um, get up in the morning, feed them water my cows, go to school and once in a while I have my sports I play. So I'll go to those and come back and do my chores. There's no one else in my school that actually has a farm like we do. I guess this is my job, so it's my kind of fun time when I get to go to the fairs. Like other people, they have their sports and stuff they like to go do. And I have one friend that he wants to do beef and dairy, but I don't know if he'll do it. It's helped me meet new people and kind of got me more confident in talking a little bit. We have demonstrations that we have to do, like tell people like what you've learned and teach them something new. I guess my most favorite part is like when they're having their calves, helping them like dry their calves off and just seeing the calf get up and go and drink finally. And my animals were raised here. I knew that what they ate, I knew where they were, and I knew exactly what they were doing every single day. You know where your meat is coming from because there's a lot of hard work that goes into the process to just grow the food and get it to where it needs to go. That's why we're here. I'd like to have my dairy at since it, my grandfather, he owned it and I'd like to keep get that back up and going. I, will, I look forward to seeing Colby if he does follow through with the beef and the dairy farm, that he's successful with it and I see that he has support from his family in doing this. And with Sierra, she has witnessed firsthand what it's like to be here and she's seen the different people come here and talk to us about how to make our farm better. And she, I think, will do very, very well working closely with other farmers. She's got a lot of compassion and she's got a good insight of looking at something and seeing how she can help them fix any problems. It put me where I am right now. It's shown me that I can do different things with my animals and it's helped me make my money with my shears and selling them. Yeah, and I've done that. It's opened up like a whole new world to me. And Thinking about going to college for um, sustainable agriculture and hopefully going on to like a USDA job, help other people with their farms.